Hello everyone, this is Daniel Jaskowski with ACC Telecom. We've had a lot of requests lately for a how-to video on how to schedule conferences, both audio and video, from the 3CX web client. So this video is going to show you guys how to do that. So you log into your 3CX web client with whatever your login credentials may be. Once you're in, you delete a previous one I had done. Once you're in, this is the screen you usually come to. Go under Schedule Conference. From here, you're going to choose either an audio or video conference. In this example, we're going to do a video conference. Next question is whether you want that conference to start now or start later. For this example, we're going to do later. When you do later, you need to choose a date, time, and duration. So for this example, we will choose tomorrow, 10 o'clock a.m., duration of 30 minutes. From there, you can give it a subject. That may be. Notes to participants can be information to give to the callers before joining the conference. Maybe it's building over a new project. From there, you got to choose a web meeting profile. Uh, right now, there's two. There's web meeting and there's webinar classroom type environment. Uh, you can see the settings for these individual profiles using the wrench button off to the right. So for web meeting, these options up here are grayed out for this particular option. By default, audio, video, and chat is enabled at the start of the meeting. You can choose to change that. If you do not want video to start automatically or audio to start automatically, you can do that by unchecking it. But by default, all three are enabled the instant the meeting starts. You can also choose your meeting location, time zone wise, and bit rate from 128 up to 4096. The webinar classroom settings you'll see are slightly different. You do have the ability to change some of these options up here now. Uh, by default, it is set for this particular profile that the organizer must connect first before the meeting actually starts. If you do not want that, you can uncheck that and the meeting will instantly start the instant somebody joins the meeting. But by default, it is set for the organizer must connect first. It is also set to hide all participants from each other. Kind of more of a classroom environment. They want you to focus on the teacher scenario as opposed to everybody else in the, in the meeting but you can turn that off if you'd like, but by default it is enabled. And same thing for the audio, video, and chat. For the web meeting one, all three were enabled by default. For the webinar classroom environment, only chat is enabled. Audio and video could be enabled by the organizer once they join the meeting. Or you could enable them all three here if you wanted to do that. You again have the meeting location and bit rate settings below. If you choose the web meeting, you'll have a calendar option to add this to your calendar. You've got Google Calendars, Office 365, Outlook Online, or iCal. iCal would be using the installed Outlook client on your computer. When you click Create, the meeting would be created. A file would be downloaded for the uh, iCalendar creation in Outlook. You can then double click that, save it, and create that meeting in your Outlook. If you do Webinar Classroom, you would simply import a list of participants, or you can add them from here. By simply typing in the emails and clicking Add. And you can continue to add and add and add, and you'll see the list grow as you add people. You can also remove people by simply clicking the X next to the participant and creating the meeting. I'm going to use Web Meeting just to create this. So we go back to web meeting, you got iCal chosen, I'll do create meeting. You'll see back here the meeting is made. This is the download of the file for the iCalendar. I'll go ahead and download that. The iCalendar file is now over here. I can double click that to open it. It may take a second to open the actual invite, but basically it's going to open the invite, show the information in the invite, just a standard invite like you would see from anything else from Outlook. It's going to create the information, all the different links. You'll have a link for joining from Chrome. Oh, there we go. 
So there's the notes we gave to the participants. This link is if you're joining from Chrome or Firefox, you'll notice Internet Explorer is not in this list. Uh, you will need to use Chrome or Firefox when joining one of these meetings from a computer. You can also join from an Android or iOS device using the 3CX web meeting app. You simply click on whichever one it is you're using, whether it's Android or iOS, and at that point you're good to go. I can do save and close. This will then add it to my Outlook calendar, as you can see here. Here's the meeting we just created. All the same links are there. At this point, this would be sent out to all the individuals you chose to add to your meeting. Here's the meeting as well. You can see that it's a video option, available by the little video section there. You can click it to see information, uh, add a new conference, join this particular conference, or delete this conference. Also shows you the URL for that conference. And that's pretty much it. I will be doing a follow-up video showing you how to do this same information using the 3CX phone software, but there is a new uh, service pack coming up that's going to change the way that is done using this software. So I'm going to wait for that patch to come out, and then I'll do the video for here. But you can use the web client right now. These settings are going to stick as far as I know, so you'll never have to worry about this being different anytime in the near future. Um, we'll see you on future videos.